stipulation to this question was the guy actually wrote, you can't say depends. Game on the line, runner pass on fourth and two. Pass. Okay. Always pass. I guess my answer would be pass as well, since I can't say depends. If I can't say depends, then it's pass, because... Do we say depends a lot? You must say depends. No, I mean, the, the answer to that question is depends. It is depends. Hey, but... you're in goal line, and your opponent's in quarters, it's fourth and two, Correct. should you run Correct. or pass? Yeah. Hmm, I'm going to pass? No, it depends really on the situation, what you've called, what's been working, does he have fullback dive, the, where are you on the field, how much time is left? There's seven factors uh, to consider, but do you have a play you would pass? You Where would you attack on fourth and two? Would you do kind of the drags thing that you do, where you just kind of chuck drag? Here's or... my play right here. I'd come out and gun split close browns, I'd go to play... X drag trail, uh, and, and really the, any coverage I, I potentially would get. I just want to give myself a lot of short options, um, and primarily it's it's a, a, it's some type of drag. I'm absolutely in love with option routes out of the backfield now. This is something that Tweezy got me onto. So I would say give yourself a drag, give yourself um, an option. Option to a route halfback. is huge. It's option huge route is huge because it's going to run the right route against right. coverage. Um, and then, you know, this play has the luxury of having an angle route to the halfback. So you got a lot of quick developing routes. But there, I'd say the three things that you want to have on every play on a passing play in a fourth and two to give yourself some options. A deep vertical just, in, just to chuck and go for an aggressive. Right. Okay, number one. In case they run commit or something. Number two, quick drag because if it gets open, it gets open, right? Number three, an option to the halfback. It's kind of a bailout, last resort. Maybe then you block one other, the halfback or, or tight end in the situation. Um, and then your last route could be like a motion slant or something. But that you need those routes because it's going to give you something that you can just like like bail so to. So give us an idea of the drag, what you would look. So you know. the drag is like, okay, it's there. That's two yards. Like I'm going to get two yards there. Like it's super quick to develop. Okay, so now let me wait on. I'll say I'll wait on the drag. Okay. Maybe look for the option. So the drag's not there. Uh-oh, pr pressure's coming. I can just chuck it and do this, right? right. Like. Didn't get it, but if you have the appropriate player there, like I put Odell Beckham there, you put your best spec catch on this route. Right. The appropriate thing would be okay. I'm just gonna chuck it to him because pressure's coming in. I got nothing else. He locked everything else up. It's what you see the teams in the NFL do. What do they do? They just, like if they got no option. They chuck it downfield, pray for uh, him to make a play or uh, pass interference. Right. That's the idea with chucking it deep there. Uh, and the last option is uh oh, you covered everything. You co oh, I got nothing. I got nothing. Oh, he bailed out on the. I overthrew it, but right. he's gonna. Your halfback is always gonna make the right read in terms of what he reads in the coverage. So if he's it's man to man, he's gonna go on a quick out. If it's zone, he's gonna sit. So like, you're gonna get the guy to get open. Like he's gonna get open, and you can feel confident in that. And it's, I think, especially against zone, the option's super hard to defend when you have all a bunch of other route concepts around. So if you go to zone, what ends up happening is, oop, your controller, little battery, oh, classic. This is actually S. Gibbs' controller you brought it over without battery. Yeah, what but a guy. Mine? What a guy. That's not true. That's true. So, again, go to zone real quick. So when you go to zone, what ends up happening is, like, all these other routes come open, like, you're in cover two. So, but that route usually, when there's not five zones underneath. They'll drift away. They drift away from it. Like, right. Go to cover three real quick. Um, you'll see, usually, like, there's a, a vacant area in the middle. Like, right here, like... Like, felt pretty good about that throw. You have space to catch it and then hit him to turn around and go. So, look for a streak, a drag, an option. They're going to give you some type of ability to complete a pass on a short yard situation. This isn't any playbook. This this specific formation is in the Browns and Patriots. But any kind of option on fourth and two, you want to have multiple options. Drag, uh, streak, and then, of course, the halfback option route. Those are where I find the most success on fourth downs. I would say run it if you, you can't be afraid to run it is the real answer. Like you, you have to if they give you what looks like it's going to be open on fourth and two, you got to take it. But passing, at least then it's your fault. If there's no block shed on fourth and two, like you don't trip on your own center on fourth and two pass. You make the bad read, and your guys generally not going to just drop the rock. Right, in my opinion. So, um, shout out to Steven the Beast for following the channel. Thanks to all you guys for giving us follow.